We're going to continue to have fun. Uh, this guy is fantastic. I've seen him around. Please put your hands together. Make him feel welcome. Make some noise for Shroddy G. Yay! Hey, hey. Uh, before I came here today, I was sending a message to one of my friends. And as I was trying to type in Brian and Riley's, the phone fucking auto-corrected me and turned it into Birdie O'Reilly's. Alright, so it started me thinking, like, I should, I want to go get a bird bath for the front of my house. Just fill that sucker up with beer. You guys know how I feel, right? I come home from work every fucking day, thirsty. Thirsty for beer. So I just want to get home, fill that up with beer. Just come, no arms required. Just want to put my face into it and drink the beer. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'll get a sign out the front and say, Booty O'Reilly's. A beacon of good times. <laughs> Come on. You know you want to make some noise with the word beacon. Beacon. I'm going to make myself win. I don't know, man. Maybe the, maybe the real estate agents will have a problem with uh, me putting a boot button and a sign outside the front. The real estate agents, they crack me up too. They've got a way of making everything sound much more nice and charming than what it actually is, you know what I'm saying? For example, an old falling down house. It's not an old piece of shit falling down house. It's a renovator's delight. It's like this morning when I was at the tan, I didn't see a bunch of fat butts. It was a personal dream, as hidden treasure. <laughs> <laughs> the real estate signs I cracked me up at. The funniest thing I saw, I was walking down the, like my street, probably two weeks ago, I saw a sign, there was a house for sale, the sign in the front said, Charming three bedroom residence comprises spacious living, rumpus room, and this and that. <laughs> They've used the word charming to describe a house. Hey, look like that one. Charming. <laughs> Clearly, I haven't got these guys' attentions. But hey, there we go. <laughs> so good. I'm going to start picking it now. How the devil is a house going to be charming? What does it do? Say it's nice says nice complimentary things to you when you come home from work. Hey, how you doing? You're looking good. The years have been kind to you, sir. Go ahead. Come inside me. <laughs> oh. 24.5. Seriously, man. <laughs> <laughs> my house has never done such things to me, man. Like, my house knows it has to be more charming than that if it wants me to be impressed. Like, you better have some dinner cooked or something. Because we all know that the way to a man's heart is through the stomach. And the only problem is that there's two ways to the stomach, isn't there, folks? Right? That's <laughs> delicious food, or it's straight up the old bum. <laughs> so, ladies, if you, you know, haven't got the hottest skills in the kitchen, you've got that option. A bit of an alternative. It's a shitty one. It's a shitty one, but an option nonetheless. Hey, how you doing? You want to come back to my place for dinner sometime? Yeah. I'd love to come back to your place for dinner sometime. Rock up to her place for dinner. Ding dong. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what are we having? What's for dinner? I'm excited. What are, what are we having? Oh, uh, yeah, dinner. The thing about that is. <laughs> Where's the mic stand? What happened to the stand? I was really relying on that to. <coughs> slip on the old glove, but you know, it's lost effect now, hasn't it? So, anyway, she says, I'm not really much of a cook, and on goes the old glove, right? Implying that she's going to. Insert. No? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really much of a cook. Hey, 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 this is not what I meant when I said that I wanted your digits. No? Come on, this guy, you guys are killing me. <laughs> alright, alright, one more story for you. Alright? I actually had a friend of mine over dinner last week. She came out, I cooked. Alright, I cooked. After dinner, we're sitting there on the couch. And uh, we're watching a movie. She got up, she went to the bathroom. And about 10 minutes later, I went to the bathroom. Now, the first observation I made when I went into that bathroom was that the toilet seat was up. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Huh? <laughs> At first, I thought, hey, this is a very thoughtful and charming gesture. You know, she's coming, I know stuff, and lifted the seat back up into the upward position because that's how it was when, when she came in. Then I started thinking, no. Wait, what, what if. What if that didn't happen at all? What if she came in, walked right up to the toilet, just cocked up the old leg and started pissing while standing up? Oh, no. Right? Didn't get a single fucking drop on the floor, mind you. 
Now, I'm a guy, I've got a dick, and I can't even do that. You know what I mean? So, for a woman, this is groundbreaking, man. This is like, this is true skills. This is talent. Now, that's charming. Is that what we're, uh, is the boss, but I don't know. Um, it's, that's the bracket, that's the end of the bracket. Uh, 